Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Outlaws of the Old West. On the Radio Man 03, it's awesome to have you along. I'm doing some building, working on a house a little bit. We just missed that gang. That gang of hoodlums, the Skull, the Skull Gang, came across the river and went right up this hill right here and kept on going. It's a big moon. The sun's coming up. Uh, videos were dark last time. I'm hoping they're going to be a little bit lighter now. Let's see what we're doing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a second floor, of course, but I don't like that uh, smaller staircase for what we're doing here. Um, we're going to need a wall. Yeah, right there. That's going to be perfect right there. I'm hoping to kind of seal this off a little bit so we don't have them uh, getting in here. That would be, that would not be much fun. Um, I'm going to do that there. And let's go ahead and swap this out so we don't get mixed up. I figured since these glow, it's probably easier to see at night when you're putting them up. Because I noticed I made some mistakes last time. And... Nope. A wall and a wall. And then another window right here, I think, is what I want here. Yes, that lines up with what my house looks like. So basically, we're going to come up this way. And then there's going to be a platform right here. I believe we could do a ceiling right there. And that should work really, really well. Uh, bump, log, ceiling. There it is. Come on now. You can go in there, right? Will you not fit there because I've got two, uh, two things here? Oh, there we go. There we go. So which way do I want the logs to go? Probably the same direction as the floor, I would think. So we're going to go that way right there. Yeah. We're not going to close this off up here just yet. We've got to go up a second floor. Uh, i got to think if I've gone far enough here yet with foundations. How much bigger is the house going to be? And I think that is about going to do it right there in terms of the size. Well... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The second floor juts out a little bit from the bottom floor. It does. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I always forget you got to click it a second time on the wall. We're going to do this guy here. And then... I'm just thinking about where I am. Oh, no. You know what? No, 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 no. Um, that's supposed to be... That should... Well, hold on. No, no. I'm right. I'm right. This is my mind here. This should be a window. I'm going to see if this is going to fit. Uh, oh, you know what I wanted to do for sure? We want to make the metal bench. Iron ore 20. Let's get the 20 iron ore. I really want to get that going because there's a hammer in there. I believe it's in there. I think it was what we said that we need for getting our resources back. So let's do that. Let's grab uh, a little bit of raw iron there. And we should have a bunch of planks in here too. Yeah, there we go. So, let's see. We can, we can make that for sure now. Metal working bench. Okay. And we also need the clothing table. Uh, oh, the sewing machine. That's what we need. Is the, okay, we, so we need 10 rope for the sewing machine. Uh, we need a little more space so we can get, you know, get things going. Alright, and... Rope. Let's go ahead and go just shift and... Oh, there's another craft all, huh? Oh no, what, what am I doing? Hold on a second. I want... Yeah, plant fiber, raw material. Oh, I'm the wrong thing. No. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Wrong thing. Craft all. 36 rope. Alright, let's get that going. Jeez. <clears throat> I scare myself sometimes. This guy is going to go into a metal area. Now, I have a wood stove in my house in this corner right here. So, as you come out of the mud room, this is the game room, my room, and then we come in here, we've got the staircase that goes up this way, and then it turns and goes upstairs into sort of a... Uh, the back half of the house is like the bedroom upstairs. But over here, what I have is I've got the, uh, the wood stove and stuff is here. So, I thought maybe this would be a good place to put uh, the metal in the forge and get this kind of going in this area right here. Back in there. I think I hear something outside. Oh my gosh, what the... Oh, it's a buffalo. Hey dude, I was here first. I swear to God, you guys spawned in today over there on the river. It is not my fault that you are here. Jackrabbit. 
Look at him. He's got a bunch of attitude out there, doesn't he? Well, I'm sorry, dude, but that's just the way it is. Oh, I should probably close off the back of the house, huh? That would be a good idea. Oh, I was going to do that hammer, though, first. Duh. Where is it? Here we go. This guy right here. I know. I am seriously just like a chicken with his head cut off in here. I mean, I'm just... I'm in love with this. I love it so much. It's so much fun. Uh, oh, this is the, the phantom pickaxe that you see over there on the right. I can't get that out of my inventory no matter what I do. Um, it was in the workbench, and I took it out of the workbench, and then when I went back into the workbench again, I saw that there was a pick there, and I thought, well, that's weird. I could have sworn I picked that up, and when I grabbed it, well, there you go. Now we got a problem. All right, so this is down to here. We're going to come across a uh, window, right? Okay, and then number three, we're going to have a solid wall. We're getting into what is the kitchen, so we got a solid wall. Uh, this is going to be a window. It's probably a little bit smaller than my house, but I think for a starter for us, it should provide uh, a pretty good spot to get started in. And then I want to really try out these building things. This is this is a lot of fun to build this. <gasps> aye, aye, aye. Um, I guess you got to keep going in one direction all the way around, don't you? You can't just kind of stop and go the other way. Dang it. Um, yeah, that's supposed to go that way right there. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this and fix it up. If you look at number two here, I'm going to have to break some of these walls down. I do that, I get those resources back now in my inventory, which is great. I'm going to have to fix this one and that one there. There we go. I did not mean to squeeze that one like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix all these up. Let me do that, and then I will come back. So, <clears throat> this guy's not giving up. <laughs> He's getting closer and closer. He's angry with me. He doesn't like the fact I'm standing here. He doesn't like the fact I got a house here. He doesn't like anything about me. So we're going to have to kill him as best we can. I've got arrows, so I think we're okay. I'm going to try to do it from up here, see what happens. Oh, he's going to get stuck in the window. He's going to be a lot of hide, though. It's my first chief buffalo kill. Oh, he's running away. What do, you, what do you mean you're running away, dude? Oh, he's coming back. Oof. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's right there. He's right there. Oh, wow, that was a lot of arrows, man. What did we get? 11 meat, 15 rawhide. Wow, that's nice. Okay, those guys are worth it. We're going to have to get ourselves a gun that can handle that kind of action, huh? We'll be able to stock up real quick. Uh, ignite. Okay, other workbench we were going to work on. Um, oh, wait a minute. I'm not done fixing this. I just wanted to show you that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have to go across the front again, too. I'm hoping that it lines up right by the time I get down on this end over here. What am I... Oh, he's still laying here. <laughs> he's still here. The buffalo, the dead buffalo is still here. Yeah. Okay, hopefully that goes away. We'll, uh, we'll see. I may have to uh, back out and come back in again. Anyways, I'm not quite done with this yet, so I'll be right back. What is this? It's an arrow. Welcome back. We're gonna do a lot of building today, I think. We're gonna get uh, get some things ship shape. Oh, I can get something. Uh, you know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to fit a wall underneath there, but there we go, bingo. So I got the wall all shored up. It, it it's it's good all the way around now. That drive me crazy. So, yeah, I guess it's you know pick a spot, start there, and then work your way all the way around it, just to make things you know simple in your life. So let's go number three again. What we're gonna do is actually go ahead and get solid wall right through here, like so. And then let's leave this open here. And wait, 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 wait. We can, we can, well, let's do this. Okay, we're going to go this way first. And then we want a solid wall. So, 
There we go. That is pretty much the layout of the downstairs area, yeah. You got a staircase. This is obviously going to go up. We're going to go up with this one here. The stairs going to go up one more floor, of course, and we'll have uh, two high here. Um, but then this is where Variety is for her, her gaming area, and then we've got the kitchen area here. The, it's it's kitchen bathroom area, so it's... I guess, yeah, they could both fit in here, but I'll probably just keep this as one room. Kind of the food area and stuff like that. We'll have that right there. Um... Now the trick is, is getting the next staircase on. I think, obviously, we're going to have to have a little bit of support for it because I don't think it's going to want to do this right here. Um, I don't think I can... You could walk out on these things, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's not going to stick to that right there. So, I think what I have to do is I have to go with some ceilings just to give it some support. A log ceiling here. And we're going to have kind of a lower ceiling in this area here. So that's the way that's going to be right there. Uh, but we won't go any um, further across than that right there. That's it right there. Okay. And then now we should be able to, I think, I hope, put the other staircase on here. Oh, man. It's not seen that as a floor, is it? Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking for right there. Perfect. 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 Did I need those? What's it attached to? Let's get this out of our face real quick. It looks like it's attaching to that floor piece right there, huh? Let's... I want to test it and just see. I want to see what, what that's holding on to. So I'm going to go ahead and bust this one out right here. No, it was attached to that. Okay, alright. There we go. We've learned something about that. <laughs> it will fall down. Okay, so let's get this back up here. We're going to turn it around. Just like so, and then back to here. Getting the feel for the building. I gotta eat something too. I'm neglecting him. Oh, uh, here we go, like so, and like that. That's kind of a kind of a trickier trickier placement right there. Uh, let's just eat a steak. And we'll have another steak. We're full up on that. I've got a canteen on me, but we've got the water right here. There was a scumbag roaming around down there they like to spawn right out there oh, i left that meat and that charcoal in that campfire when i backed out to come back in that by the way did get rid of the uh the buffalo the bison soul that was in our front yard here on the porch uh it took care of that i didn't know did i tell you about the stairs i put a pair of stairs in right here and the idea here is to this is miscellaneous right um yeah my idea is to do something like this here What's going on? Do I not have materials? I do. What's going on here? That's strange. Oh. Well, what, what? why won't it stick to these? It's so bizarre. Look at that. Um, okay, it's probably something obvious, right? Or is this just a bug that I'm not aware of? Uh, I've never had that happen to me before. What I'd like this to do is, you know, okay, that just flips it back and forth. I would like it to sit over here, but it's not going to do that. It appears to be an obstruction. Here, it doesn't even snap to anything at all. Huh, that's weird. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's take a look at workstations some more. We've got plenty of stuff to do this with. Um, gunsmith table, the sewing machine. Let's make that. Oh, leather. We need five leather to make the shoe and hat bench. That's going to give us our clothes and our hat. Where is the clothes bench at? Carpentry. Oh, the sewing machine is where we get the clothes, right? So we need the show. Ah, here we go. There we go. Let's get a saddle going, right? Good saddles. And then we want this one for sure, too. The shoe hat bench. And we need five... Five leather. Oh, I wonder if we really need that just yet. Yeah, we gotta have a hat, right? We gotta have a hat. So let's go ahead and grab out this right here. We need five leather. Let's go make some leather. Uh, let's, uh, I want to figure out why I can't uh, place anything here. Maybe if I remove those, it'll work. Uh, one, two, three, four... And a five. There we go. Yeah, we did pretty good. That buffalo, that bison, gave us quite a bit. Which was nice. Sip my coffee real quick here. 
Uh, oh, by the way, as always, let me know if the if the if the game sounds are too loud. Let me know. I don't like to turn them down too much because it but immerses me in the game and hopefully you too and takes you right along with me. So just let me know. Uh, we always got to test these things out a little bit first. Okay, so then we're going to make a hat station with that one, right? The shoe hat bench. There we go. Just like so. Beautiful. Oh, that's going to take 10 seconds. So we're going to put these guys... Well, the shoe hat bench uh, probably should go in here. Let's go tab. The saddle station could go in here too, but there's just not enough room for it. So let's go ahead and put the clothes, the clothing stuff in here. Yeah, there we go. That's beautiful. I love that. That looks nice. There we go. Straighten it out a little bit. Okay, we're touching there. Touching there. Right there. Bam. Okay, so what do we need in here? It's going to be, uh, what do we need for these guys right here? One leather. I mean, that's that's really cheap. Let's make a couple more leathers so we've got them in our inventory. Then we don't have to keep going back out here. Let's go one, two, three, four. We'll make five. We'll make five or more. That way we've got a little bit to play with. These are the starter clothes right here, but it's not too hard to get to where we are right, right now. I mean, it's just a couple hours worth of gameplay, and I'm, you know, getting pretty well set up here. Uh, we need to go back in here and into here and let's get our boots made first and which hat do we want cotton yarn okay so we need our cotton and our yarn and our cloth and stuff too we could probably use another chest as well we can take that in here that in here take that we should probably get a chest and put it in there so we can put all of this stuff in that location let's grab those planks um, a chest. What do I need for a chest? I could probably make one. Yeah, I can make one. Perfect. Let's get that set down in here. Then we can drop a bunch of this stuff in there and we're good to go. Oh, there's the sewing machine too. That should probably go in here as well. That would make sense. Is it making? There it is. There it is. Okay, so let's grab that. We'll drop it down here. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to take a little break. I'll come back when the sun comes up and we will resume work on our little homestead here and uh, see how far we get. Be right back. Welcome back. The sun has come up on another, another beautiful Outlaws of the Old West Day. Uh, these, these posts that you get off of this guy right here, number three. Uh, it's one piece of wood. It's really cheap. And you can see, I put one right there. It kind of trims that out pretty nice. Now I can put one there and then I can actually continue this up and we can have a nice pole thing coming up through here. And we could do the same thing on the outside of the building as well, which is really fantastic. I love that feature. Uh, it kind of cleans up your corners. So if you've got anything that looks bad, you could just do something like that right there. And it adds a little something to it. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, it may be ex excessive, but uh, let's put one right there. We could put them out on the corners here as well. Oh, by the way, I did take this out. I took these two platforms out, these two foundations. Put them back in, and these guys snapped right into place. So now we've got a rail going all the way around, well, you know, on our porch right here, on our porch. We've got a rail. And we could do these guys out here, too. They're really nice. I love these poles. They're great. Uh, like so. We could do these guys right here, and we can actually bring this up. Now, I'm actually putting the top of the house right now, the roof. I've got a little bit right here. Uh, where's the overhang? We need a little bit of an overhang. I think that's one thing that everyone always tends to... Uh, overlook is the overhang how important the overhang is there we go and we've got one there already put one right there and let's just take a look and see what we what we can do you can actually run these down into the ground too so you can have a little wood trim uh, on the corners of your building too which looks pretty nice as well uh, and actually you know what we should do we should do this here and that there just like that yeah that that adds a lot of uh, flavor brings that wood all the way down into the ground like that I like that a lot and yeah, we could do one there, but let's let's hold off a little bit. Like here, look at this, the way this kind of hangs off the edge like that. If we do that and that, does that clean that up a little bit? Yeah, but we really don't need this here just yet, so I'm not so sure about this one. Let's get that out of there, and let's see if I can do this without breaking the wrong thing. Nope. There we go. <sighs> no, we couldn't. We couldn't get away with that. No, no, sir. Uh-uh. Let's uh, let's get that back. And over here. 
There we go. Perfect. Just like that. So yeah, just by um, maybe it was logging out and back in again too. I didn't really try it that way. So that, that could be it. Can I can I double these up? I can put it down there. I can put it down there. Oh, it's attaching to the bottom of that pole right there. I see. I wonder if that pole wasn't there. If it would, no, it's it's got nothing to sit on right there, right? Okay, so back to the pole. Let's see. Uh, I'm I'm liking the building mechanics so far. It's it just kind of snaps right together. You know, you just got to get used to it and stuff. I was also wondering if these would uh, not fix up the corners that kind of get messed up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put you right there. Put you right there. It sounded like that ran into something, didn't it? Like it broke something, possibly. There we go. And one more right there. No, nope, we've already got one there, so it won't do that. There we go. It goes right there, though. And then the front... Excuse me. Queen, by the way. Queen. We had at least we had two votes for Queen, so that's Queen. Flossie was the other selection, and I, I kind of like that name, too. Flossie sounded pretty good. I liked it. And there we go. Just like that. Okay, so let's get that out of our face and take a look. But take a step back and look. Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, now, I, I bet, I bet I get one more right here in the middle. I can, perfect. These are the half angle blocks and the half walls that make up this roof line right here. I wanted this roof line to stay kind of short, uh, because that's how it is on my house. This wall and see, and this the roof actually backs up to, um, well, the, the, the second floor of my house. So, what we're going to do here, and uh, we've got to remember... I've, I've got to remember to make sure I go in the right direction each and every time. So, like that. No, I can't see if that's in the right spot or not. And it's not. So we're going to go like that right there. And then I've got to continue on all the way around this way and not change. So what I want to do here is I do want to put a window here because it's just going to look freaking awesome here. Uh-huh. Yeah, it gets really bright at this time of day. <laughs> it's really bright. Uh, okay, and back to the regular wall. Right there. Perfect. Uh, let's go down here. Like so. Uh, we, need you to, we need you to come in this way. There we go. That's it. That's the way to do it. And like that. And like that. There's not a whole lot of windows upstairs. Just a couple, which is kind of a bummer. One there, there, and then I do have a window here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not the top, that's not the top floor just yet. That's right, okay, hold on, hold on. We would have, we have to enclose this whole thing first with, uh, whatchamacallit, ceiling. Uh, come on, there we go, there we go, that's it, that's the way to behave, in you go, there we go, okay, so, after a little bit, you get kind of the feel for where you have to be to get things to place, which is, which is nice, you know, uh, bump, nope, here we go, and I turned that, so we're going to turn that back, like so, and then we should be meeting up here perfectly, now why is that different, I went the whole way around right, didn't I? Shouldn't they match up right there? Am I nuts? <laughs> Did I miss something here? Did one of them misplace and I didn't notice it? And it's it's possible. I mean, that's very possible, which would screw up the rest of the row. So far, so good. That looks good to me there. It's all snapped together properly, I believe. It pulled this log up with it. I think that's what it did right there. Because I didn't put that there. Not that I'm aware of. I feel like that pulled it up. Is that window? No, the window's right because it's lined up on this side just fine. So that is just really bizarre how it's not lining up um, on this last piece. Maybe this one here. Maybe this first... Is this first one wrong? Let's take this one out. Gonna have a nice delicious steak. And another steak. Because it's good. And I'm gonna fill up my water. Because I got a canteen. A jug of water. Got myself a canteen of water. Number three. 
Uh, okay, so let's come from that direction and go this way with it and see if this doesn't uh, fix our little issue. Okay, now is that is that right? I'm going to need probably the pole. So let's grab that right now and have that handy. Can I jump this fence? You can jump the fence. That's pretty nice. Uh, no, that looks... That, okay, I don't know. I feel I feel like it was uh, a bit bizarre. There we go. Uh, the shears are now working on the sheep, I guess. They they did all kinds of uh, fixes and stuff on here. Uh, I wonder if I should do that. I'm gonna want a little bit of a porch off the back side here too. Come on, go on in there. Oh, I had you. Huh, it's not going in there. Why won't you go in there? Oh, there's already one there. That's why. Okay, I just couldn't see it because I had the thing in my hand. Okay, so that's perfect then. We're good to go. And then from here we put the 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 roof on it does the the building will get a little bit taller but not too much taller there we go baby oh that's nice that is sweet looking all right number three there we go yeah that's 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 taking shape really good and then the next roof actually goes that direction it goes up this way so our ends are here and here right here and here so we'll do the half walls again and the half angles in order to put that on is there a small piece of roof that we can make an overhang with? I'm going to put you over by your food and water queen. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. Now you're on stay, right? When you back out and you come back in, they, they, they want to follow you. Um, all right. So we're going to look to see if there's a different another piece of roofing in here. Something smaller. Smaller. There's a log slope, slope half rope. That's what that is up there. Log triangle ceiling, log roof. Hmm. It doesn't look like there is, huh? I guess what we could do to make the front of the house look a little more interesting is... Oh, I keep going to the same thing. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, wood five. Oh, I'm, I'm out of wood. Well, then I guess we're laying some benches. <laughs> I'm out of wood. Uh, tab. Let's get that out of here. It does... I, I hate... I, I should never do that, but... Let's go ahead and put that tool away first. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. And let's put this down here. There we go. I'm thinking maybe we move the saw bench someplace else. And the sewing machine could go out here. I don't really have... Well, I might have room for it here. Let's see. How big is this thing? Oh, that is quite sizable. Yeah, that is pretty sizable, and it's blocking the drawers over here. So I'm not going to do that in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this guy up underneath the stairs. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. There we go, just like that. And we should have what we need to make some clothes. We definitely want a neck bandana. And uh, a duster jacket. What is this here? A jacket to keep you warm and protected. A duster jacket, huh? Duster coat. Let's come back to the coats. Pants. What do we got here? Pants, cotton. Scully Western. Scully Western. That's a kind of a gray. Fringed. Wand maker cotton. A cotton stripe. Hmm. Wawmaker. Wawmaker, huh? There's another pair down here, too. Wawmaker cotton. Oh, it's dress. Fringed shirt. No, I don't want a fringed shirt. Let's go, um... Let's go with the brown. Yeah, let's do, let's do the brown. And then up here, what we'll do is we'll go with the short canvas frock coat. That's a short one, huh? Medium canvas frock. Duster. Hmm. 
let's uh let's hold off on that. I don't know that we're gonna need a coat right away. Oh, there's vests down here too. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, what's this one here? Whip stitch western vest. Let's do it. Let's make that one right there. And then we're going to make ourselves a hat as well. We're going to get ourselves dressed for Pete's sake. Uh, the hat's going to be right over here. And I wanted to go with this guy right here. The cattleman pinched front. We got our boots. And we got our hat. So we should be able to get all decked out and put together here real quick. Let's see. Tab. Click. Right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. The bandana kind of collides with things, so I don't know that the bandana looks super fantastic. What is this? A belt? There's gloves? Okay. There's a few other things we can make here. Let's see here. Uh, v and P. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I like that vest very much. We're good. We're good. Yeah. There we go. Flint Westwood right there at your service, ma'am. Um, all right. Let's go. Uh, to wear any kind of a jacket is just too hot. I'm going to make it. Leather 2. Let's do it. Uh, we got to put this guy down, too. This should probably overheat us, I would think. Now, how do we look? Let's see here. V and P. There we go. Ready to go kill some outlaws. <laughs> okay. He moves his head kind of weird, huh? He's all right, though. He's all right. Leave Flint alone. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy set down, too. This is going to be our saddle bench. Oh, God, I hope I didn't blow that on the, whatchamacallit, the leather. I think I need at least one leather for this. Oh, you can hear my spurs jangling. Rawhide. Oh, so we need some rawhide. Okay, I, I think... Do we have rawhide or did I... Oh, boy. Did I use it all? I think I used all of the rawhide up. I did. All right, so we need to get a little bit of rawhide. All right, let's do that right there. This is uh, cloth material here. You got to keep your clothes in your inventory, so I kind of keep them right here since this is where the top of the inventory is. My inventory hasn't gotten super full yet to where it's uh, crazy, but it eliminates me using the sort item button, which kind of bites. Um, all right, so we need we need to, we need some stuff. Let's uh, let's go for a little bit of a ride. We'll see what the temperature does. It says it's 129 right now. Let's go find us something to hunt. Uh, the game is not feeling chuggy at all today. I know they, they did quite a few changes and stuff, so it feels really good today. I'm hoping the record looks better, too. Come on, up, up the hill. As I say that, and then lose my coyote. Oh, there's an antelope. There we go. That should give us what we need. We need a bed, too. Uh, actually, yeah, let's let's do a little more hunting so we can get a bed put down, too. I think we're going to need more rawhide. I see a deer down here. There's been a bandit. The bandits are, like, in this area. They really like coming through this particular area. There's some more bison down there, too. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that deer because of those buffalo. Those bison are over there. I call them buffalo. I know. <laughs> I've got a sheep stuck on me. Get out of here, sheep. I'm trying to hunt, dang it.
Jeez, only two rawhide on that guy, huh? Wow, that seems a little weird. There's a badger. Hello, little badger. There's our deer. Okay, let's get this one here. We'll go back and see if we can get the other one. I hate to waste it. Ooh, he does not like coming down those 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 sharp curves like that. That sharp angle and a run. He does not like that. The horse. Queen, I guess I should say. Wow, come on. Oh, this is bit really bizarre. It's acting really weird when I hit these these rocks right here that does not like. Oh my god, did I lose him? Oh wow, he's long gone. Look at that. I think he stopped. I think he's stopping. We've got to get the deer. Where'd it go? Where's my deer? I lost it. Well, did it like die and then respawn right away or something? What was that? That was kind of weird, huh? We're kind of testing things right now, aren't we? There we go. There we go. Oh, bison. Bison. Grab that. Get Grab that stuff. Get out of here. He's not going to be happy. <laughs> Those bison. They just don't like people. <laughs> I feel a little cheap about killing that one earlier today, but, you know, what was I going to do? He's right there at the house, so it worked in my favor. He should have thought about that before he came over picking on me. I was doing nothing to them. I need to put a few traps down, too. That is a definite must. I think what we have, we have enough stuff to get the bed put down, and the bed is really important. I can't believe I've forgotten to do that. Everybody should know to put a bed down as soon as you can, right? That's your spawn point, for Pete's sake. But we should get a nice little picture of the house here from this up on top of this ridge. Uh, it's not very, yeah, you can't really see it too well out there. But it's there. I would love to do some kind of a footbridge across this river. Something that's just uh, kind of small. And we'll... Uh, oh, where was that... Uh, uh, he was across the creek. Yeah, he was across the creek in those trees over there. We had that deer we killed. I, I wonder if he's even still there. Or if he's despawned by now. We'll go over here by the bison and see if we can find it. I forgot we crossed the creek. There's that black bear too. Uh, it just woke up. <laughs> I didn't know these were stun arrows. Wait a dang minute. Yeah, it's like it came back to life. Whoa. Tricky. Gotcha. We got stuck. Oh, oh, oh. They're working on it. They're working on it. It's a week old. <laughs> you know, and they've been putting out a lot of fixes, so it's 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 just a week old, that's all. So it's doing really well. How's uh how's Queen doing? Food and water look just fine. We're gonna go ahead and jump off here. And make sure you're on stay. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Uh Torches and stuff, I've been told, uh, cause some lag issues as well. We took our torches down in our, our, our group play this last weekend. Which, of course, I posted those videos so you guys could see them. Look at that, we got plenty of food, that's for dang sure. I know it's rotting and stuff, but it's, it's probably okay. It's okay to eat it. Come on. Uh, so we were going to the... Uh, here we go, right over here. I'm just going to make the simple one because I don't want it disappearing on me. I'm going to try to get this taken care of here real quick. Uh, iron ore. It's going to be over here. I don't know why I would go in there. But there we go. Iron ore. They could lose the music on opening the chest. doesn't really matter. You know. 
I like this saddle right here. I like this one too. I've not seen all of them, but I like them. Uh, it's recommended, I believe, still not to store things in your horse's saddle. And I think it's also recommended by me is to take your saddle off before you get out of the game and put the saddle away. Uh, I don't know why I put that down there. I just have to go up and click on your inventory. There we go. And we're going to put that right in there. And there we go. Saddled up and ready to ride. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Let's see a guy about some light. There's candles and stuff in here too. Let's let's see if we've got any kind of light source. We got this guy here, a standing torch, but I don't want to use torches. I don't see any other light options here. They've been adding some new things. There's a wooden spoon. There's a cabinet. Oh, really? Ten planks and some iron ore. Oh, what's this here? Small wall cabinet. A wall cabinet. Glass. You need glass. Oh, really? A table? Round table? There's the clock. Okay, I noticed they brought a bunch of new things in. There's a chair. Eight planks. Okay. Oh, man, there's so many cool things to make. There's a mailbox, too, right? Large mailbox. Planks, 20. Okay. The mailbox is something we have to get set up, too, right? Because I can get stuff, messages in the mail. Oh, the other thing also, uh, okay, let's go check the metal bench. I'm, I'm sure it's dark. I'm sorry. I'll try to stay in the inventories. Uh, can beeswax times 10. Oh, we need beehives. Oh, look at this. I'd never looked at those before. And here we need wood for the better tools. So I'll get those better tools, of course. This is the hammer you need for the next upgrade to the building, the plank building, which is refined, refined wood structures, excuse me, refined wood structures. There's tools in here, there's a metal pail in here, there's just so much stuff. It's really awesome. I'm going to take another little break. This episode's going to be kind of long. I want to come back and uh, we're going to get that beehive set up and then what I want to do after that is I want to get um, some snare traps set up so we can just check those. I would love to run a trap line uh, just in the general area here. I'll be right back. And welcome back. All right. Beehive acquired. Just the one. We need wood in order to do any more. So it looks different. Maybe I'm nuts, but it looks a little bit different to me. Let's put this guy right over here with these bushes here. So it's not right up next to the house. There we go. And so this should make the beeswax, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. So we've got one of those. I need more wood. We can't do anything unless we have some more wood. So we're going to go out and get some more wood. The bandit showed up again over here, but then he took off down that way. They just kind of, uh, I don't know if they spawn here and they just kind of head off in a different direction. He was coming towards the house. I was ready for him, but then he didn't bother to come. So he turned around and went the other way, which was great. I appreciated that very much. Uh, we got a pack of wolves up here on the left. That's probably dark, huh? I'm sorry. Uh, it was It's 7.15 in the morning. The sun is coming up. We're going to get to the top of this ridge and it's going to be much brighter. There's some cotton. Uh, the wolves are new to the area, so maybe there's some, some random spawn that goes on, right? The, the animals kind of swap out after a while. So you've got a little bit of different variety coming through. Uh, these trees grew back... Pretty quick. Pretty darn quick. If we get just a few trees, we'll be able to uh, finish what I want to do today. We'll just cut down a few of these. There we go. couple more. So, are you guys are still enjoying it? I know some of you were hesitant with the bugs and stuff that are in here, but I I'm not having too many problems. Uh, it's just the the inventory stuff, and that that's that's kind of a hassle, having your inventory disappear and stuff like that. Now, when you die on the back of a horse, though, apparently you 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 do fall to the ground. Your body shows up on the ground. There, there. When I was playing this last weekend with the group, when you died on your horse, that was it. You were you were dead, and everything you had is gone. And you're, there was no body. You just have to get close to your horse and then, you know, summon your horse to you. Let's grab this little bush right here if we can. We can. 
That's just a couple of swings real quick. And we should have... Well, let's get a couple more trees. They're right here. I don't know that we need any more hide and stuff at the very moment. And then we can get the better axe too. And the better pick. And we'll have all the good tools right now. All right, let's head back. Let's he let's head back down to uh, the homestead here. This would be a good place for the beehives right up here with the uh, with all the flowers. I wonder if that would count. Oh, look out, little bunny! I wonder if that would count. Uh, let's grab this real quick while we're here. We've used a little bit of this today. Oh, oh you know what? Uh, tab. I do have a pick. I've got a good one, and then I've got a. Uh oh. Now they're both stuck. Oh no! Oh wait, 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 wait! That one that one it moved that time. Maybe I'm just not holding down the click well enough for it. The left click, I don't know. We'll just get the stone off of this and the iron. It's beautiful. Oh, there's, there's a couple little nodes right there. Alright, awesome. Perfect. Alright, back to the homestead. Right down there at the bend in the river. And I'm going to try to get a footbridge put across this area right here. I think we could do it. I think we can. We're going to give it a shot. I'll have to gather up a bunch of resources before I actually get on and, and uh, uh, try it out. We could probably get those uh, those farming tools, and it would probably give us more of this stuff right here too, the hemp and the cotton and everything, so we'll have to make sure we get those made as well. Right now, I'm just going to pick them. I think stuff comes back every six hours right now, but I don't know if that's game time or uh, our time. Real time. Real time. Uh, okay, so number two, let's put that away. Let's get out of that mode, and let's go to this mode. Uh, okay, so in here, I would love to make another beehive. I guess that's just in my regular inventory. Oh, we need to make some more planks. That's what it was. Shift, and let's do 30, and enter. Okay, we've got a little bit of wood left over. Is there anything we need to make in any of these other stations here? We need to make this guy and this guy. The scythe, a larger two-handed tool for harvesting plants. Oh, that would be something else. There was a sickle, too. I saw a sickle. Shovel, digging in the dirt. And we need the mailbox put up, right? Because that does, does it gives us missions or something like that, I believe. Which would be cool. The potbelly stove. Flat top stove. That's pretty awesome. I'm just going to right-click that right into our inventory. I'm going to kind of hold out. We need, we need the beeswax. I, I, I mean, how, how fast does this thing work? Uh, Variety put, uh, Gypsy put one of those chicken coops down over the weekend. I mean, it was like quick. Oh my gosh, look at this. Beeswax and honey. I hear you guys really like the honey. So they don't really drink on their own, do they? Uh, Queen. Here we go. Uh, food and water full. All right, beautiful. She's all taken care of. And then we need we needed several beeswax, though, in order to do this. So we've got to wait. That looks really good, too. I like those bees. Little buzzing bees. Uh, we could probably use a second one of those to help speed this up a little bit. But then I imagine it probably makes a lot really fast, right? Uh, we need the planks for that. Um, what happened? Didn't I tell it to make some planks? Like 30 of them? I've got four. We can't make 30 now. Oh no. I think I just got ripped off. <laughs> Let's make 10. Yeah, that took most of my wood. It, uh... Did I lose my mind? Maybe I did. I could have sworn I set that up to make 30. And I saw it to take the items out of my inventory. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to grab that, though. Uh, are there any other stations that I was thinking about making? Just uh, bear with me while we're having this go on. Um, oh, the anvil and the forge. Oh, that's right. So I want to make the forge... We're going to get that placed, and the anvil, what do we need for that? Iron and five wood. Okay, so we've got what we need there, too, for that. So that's going to be good. 
There's just, you know, there's so much I want to do. It's crazy. Alright, there we go. We got all that back. So, first thing we want to do is we want to make another beehive. So we can put a second one out there by the flowers. Uh, that makes sense to do that. Then we're going to have a forge made. I'm going to hold off on the fireplace. And I'm going to make the anvil. We're going to get those guys placed. And then, next episode, we're going to finish off uh, the top floor of the house. And get that taken care of. Uh, so, yeah, we've got our stairs that go up. And then up. And then this is our top living floor. But we're going to start the roof line here. So it's going to be a pretty... Well, yeah. I think we will start the roof line right away. Right from here. We'll start angling up and see just how much space we come up with up here. The upstairs area should be pretty small. Oh, the other thing we wanted to make was the bed. I keep forgetting about the bed. Um, I think that's in this workbench over here. Let's take a look and see. Mm-hmm. I'm missing something here. Where is it? It's just a small little thing. Is it did it did they move it to a different workbench? I thought it was in there. Sleeping bag, but no, I don't want a sleeping bag. I wanna I'm not seeing it, huh? I, I've looked at it probably two or three times. Is that it? I'm just not seeing it. What do we got here? Oil pump. Oh my gosh. Some of the stuff I've not looked at yet or even seen. Check here. It's not here. This is just clothes. Yeah. What the... Hmm. Oh, there it... <laughs> I am missing it, yeah. Planks 15, oh, canvas 4. Alright, so I can't make the bed yet, I'm gonna need more wood, so we'll take care of that as soon as we can. Let's get a few more, a couple more things set down. I'm gonna put that there, and we're gonna put the anvil right here. Number 3 is our forge. Very nice. And yes, we're gonna put him kind of, uh, I was gonna go caddy corner, but I don't think I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go straight in here with this guy. There we go, and then number four, the anvil, we'll put right here. Eventually we're going to move this stuff, we'll have a workshop to put this stuff in. We'll put the anvil right there. Now we can make shoes for our horse, which we're going to do that. We're going to make one of those, and we're going to be able to put that on Queen. That's going to help her out tremendously with her abilities. And then we need the beeswax. We need ten beeswax for that and ten for that. Oh, man. We don't have that at all. We don't have no ten beeswax. Let's get another beehive out here and we'll, we'll probably have better luck. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Uh, look at this world out here. It's a beautiful place. Just a beautiful place. Uh, three? Oh, it's saying, no, you can't put me here. Okay, so let's put you... Let, I, I could have moved it there, but I, I didn't. I want to I get it close to the flowers here. There we go. Let's see how this one's doing. Alright, it's working on it. It's working on it. We got two going now, so that's pretty good. A couple of beehives over there. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. This is coming together pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with this. I love the building. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, beeswax, two. Two honey. That is really cool. Little jars of honey. I'll be dang. That is awesome. I love that. So many things we haven't even touched yet. Uh, planks 20. So yeah, what is what's holding me back right now? Here's a shelf, a wardrobe, gun cabinet, signs, a whiskey keg, a tool used to build fort wall structures, a saw. Oh my god, that's amazing. There's an outhouse, a windmill, so much stuff. Let's, uh, the cabinets are new. Planks for planks, planks. Okay, we can make this one. I've got a few planks. What's this here? That's a stool. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to do a chair for the front porch. That's what we're going to do. I know of all the things, right? A chair for the front porch. Can I sit in this chair? I don't know. We'll find out. Come on, there we go, beautiful. And number three. 
Oh, this is awesome. This is just awesome. Right there. Right there. Destroy. Move. So that's it, huh? You can't I can't sit in it. No, it's it's a decoration item. Okay, that's good though, right? I mean that's that's good. There's a little chair for us to sit at right here. Uh, after a long hard day of gathering wood and everything else. Oh my god, it's just amazing to me. Uh, do I have coal on me? I don't, but I've got a little bit of wood, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit here by the old campfire. Ah uh, yes, it's been a beautiful day. Indeed, a beautiful day. On Outlaws of the Old West. On the Radio Man 03, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.